removed the captain of the coronavirus-stricken USS Theodore Roosevelt, saying he mishandled communications over how the outbreak was sweeping through the warship. Acting Navy Secretary Thomas Modley said Captain Brett Crozier was wrong to distribute to a wide range of people copies of an emotional four-page letter describing the threat of the outbreak to the ship's nearly 5,000 sailors, allowing it to be leaked earlier this week before top defense officials saw it. Take a look. Crisis. I'm here today to inform you that today at my direction, the commanding officer of the USS Theodore Roosevelt, Captain Brett Crozier, was relieved of command by a carrier strike group commander, Rear Admiral Stuart Baker. The executive officer, Captain Dan Keeler, has assumed command temporarily until such time as Rear Admiral Select Carlos Sardiello arrives in Guam to assume command. Rear Admiral Select Sardiello is the former commanding officer of the Theodore Roosevelt, so he's extremely well acquainted with the ship, many members of its crew, and the operations and the capabilities of the ship itself. He is the best person in the Navy right now to take command under these unusual circumstances. I understand both as a parent and a veteran how critical our support lines are for the health and well-being of our people, especially now in the midst of this global pandemic. Acting Navy Secretary Thomas Mowgli said that while there have been 114 cases of the coronavirus in the crew so far, none has been severe and Crozier overstated the severity when he suggested sailors were going to die without fast action. Crozier demonstrated extremely poor judgment in the middle of a crisis in his handling of the letter, Mowgli said. It misrepresented the facts of what was going on on the ship and created a little bit of panic that was unnecessary, he said. In addition to frightening families of the sailors, he said it raised concerns about the operational capabilities and operational security of that ship that could have emboldened our adversaries to seek advantage. The Roosevelt, one of two U.S. Navy carriers in the Western Pacific, is now docked in Guam where most of the crew is being offloaded and placed in shore housing to decontaminate the vessel. By sidelining the Roosevelt, the virus outbreak has hobbled a key asset of U.S. military readiness, though U.S. defense officials say there are no immediate strategic threats and that the ship can be put to sea quickly if required. Earlier this week, Defense Secretary Mark Esper said adversaries' armed forces are also challenged by COVID-19.